Welcome back to Foxy TV, the first episode of 2024. We're in an apartment in Hamilton by the river, Brisbane River. Now last year, the first episode of the year was our most popular video and it was a walkthrough. We walked through a Queenslander home. Phoebe walked us through a Queenslander home. So in this episode, Phoebe's gonna walk us through an apartment. She might be touching on some other things as well. So. Let's get into it. All right guys, so we are finished here styling up a two bedroom unit. We are in the inner city. So we're in Hamilton, which is positioned along the river in Brisbane. We're doing a two bedroom unit. Now a two bedroom unit in a high rise complex, we're on level 15. We are very much focused at professional buyers. This is not going to be a family buyer. Um, we're either going to go for the professional couple, a working couple, or a an investor who's interstate. Who, this is actually the scenario currently right now, an investor who's interstate who did rent it out, um, either to students or to a professional working couple also. So that's very much the target market. We've gone for something modern, we've gone for something trendy that completes the entire fit out of this unit block. So this apartment complex starting from down, is very the foyer is very formal, it's very modern, it's on set, it's very trendy. So following that all the way throughout the light fixtures downstairs, it, it making sure that we've got consistency as we come up through to here. If we had have gone more traditional in our styling, it would have missed the mark. So when we're going with some nice formal colors, the trendy colors, Morgan, our stylist here, has chosen a color base of uh, black and green. We have a green sofa, so going with blacks to really complement that, go, they photograph beautifully. They are a contrast option when, it, when you photograph it and it comes up beautifully in those photos. There is so much natural light going on in this property, so we're able to play around with those darker colors, but I'll show you as we walk through. Now, Having two bedrooms, it's important that one is obviously a master bed, so we get a queen in that bedroom. The other bedroom needs to be a double bed. Um, we, if you get a single bed and a desk in here, it sort of it limits your buyers. So going for a professional couple, we go for a spare bedroom. So this is a true double size bedroom, very simplistic bedside tables, but you can see it's an on-trend color palette and it's going to flow through the rest of the property. As we come through to the living space, you can see very much what is the hero aspect in this property is the view. Um, you have the view of the river, a 180 review and the aspect of the city, absolutely phenomenal. Now, we have to be aware of that point, that we have to highlight the view uh, without taking away from the functionality of the property. Now, what do I mean by that? We obviously are going to have a TV in the property. Now. We could style this as a formal layout. We could have the sofa on that far wall and have the occasionals here so that this feels open and we can walk through and go straight up. That's not how we're going to live in this property. We need to have a position in here for the TV so that question gets taken out of a buyer's mind as they do the walkthrough, as they do the inspection. Where the entire reason you engage a property stylist is to take away the need of imagination. So if you do not style with a TV in this property, you are taking, you are inserting the need for a buyer to use their imagination which goes against the ethos of a stylist. TV up on that wall, we are splitting the room in half by using our sofa. We have a two and a half seater sofa here with a single occasional chair. Now, we might go for a bigger sofa if we live here. Functionally though, this is still enough space for bottoms on seats for how many people we have bedrooms for. So we're ticking that box. We have a sofa that isn't overly deep and a sofa that isn't overly large. This allows us to really highlight the space and still make it feel functional. By floating the sofa, having it facing the TV, we are also zoning the aspects in this property. Other layouts we could have done. So for example, the sofa on the wall behind me, feel less functional. A sofa on the wall behind me, looking into the kitchen, not being able to, it's overlapping the TV. It's not going to give us the same aesthetic vibe as having the sofa split in the room in half. Other things that we're thinking about in this property, stacked artwork. Stacked artwork works really, really well in making a space feel larger than it is. Glass top surfaces, another really great way to make sure a space feels bigger and really help with that abundance of light in the property by not blocking it out. The glass top in this aspect also helps us not block out any of this view. The whole reason we've got full floor to ceiling windows as well as a glass balustrade. So why would we work against it? So that's why we've incorporated a glass top dining table. Other things that I don't think I've mentioned these before, the footprint of our furniture is going to be a lot more compact. So the coffee table, for example, it is a smaller, much thinner coffee table than if we're styling a grand bridge traditional home. 
the sofa, it's on four, obviously it's gonna be on four legs, but it's on a on legs, so it's up off the ground. It's not on little button feet. When we have a sofa that's on button feet, um, the sofa feels like it's a lot further to the ground and there's barely any distance between the ground and the sofa. That works as a block, rather than making you feel like you've got the space. Um, then going out to the outdoor, we've gone for a compact setting. So this compact setting, again, it's got space for three. Um, it's an awesome setting from Furniture Shack, but it's a two, two and a half seater with a third um, chair, making most of this space. We could position the sofa in front of the glass balustrade, but like I said before, don't work against the view. Then to the master bedroom, it's our last feature that we've got. A really great size, so going with a queen bed. We don't style with anything smaller than a queen bed in a master. If the room is bigger, so if we're looking at a room that is at least sort of four by four, up to five by five, we're gonna go with a king bed. Um, and if this room had a little bit more space or a functional area, we would have put an armchair here, but the armchair in this situation is blocking the wardrobe. Um, so that's why we don't bring in those extras in these properties. Um, again, everything is on, making sure that the eye is guided out to seeing the view. Um, and I think, look at the nail head. <laughs>